Good morning, everybody. This is Joe Agel from Frankfurt on Foot, and today we are at the medieval Jewish cemetery in Frankfurt. We're going to walk around and see these old, old gravestones. This is a very old cemetery dating back to 1272. At one time, the cemetery had somewhere between six and 7,000 gravestones in it. It was closed in 1828 and the Nazis came in and destroyed a good portion of it. And that's what all of these stones are. These are broken stones from the Nazi time period. These are all gravestones. They've all been documented and just piled up. They've tried to keep as many of the stones together that fit together, but most of these stones are just so strewed around, they can't figure out which stone goes with what. And so that's why they're in these piles like this together. Whereas back here, we still have intact stones that are in place where they belong. We've got about 2,500 gravestones back here. I think we should go look at them because they're quite unusual. Most of the stones in here have some sort of design on them, like you can see on this one. Lobster? I don't know. But they obviously lived at the house probably of the Krebs. And that may have been where they got their name, Krebe. We'll see lots more as we walk through here. standing in the middle of all of these because these are all on the ground. I like the heart on here. That's probably a stag. So this last, per or the name of this person may have been Hirsch that's the German word for stag. This is an ostrich. And so this person's last name was Strauss. They lived at the house of the ostrich or Strauss. This is a fish trap. And there's a lot of them here that have that on. Back over there, so whole family. That looks like a squirrel there. Now, in most Jewish cemeteries, they would have brought dirt in and more dirt in and more dirt in and just brought the gravestones up to the top. That's why these stones are so close together. It's not that the people were buried that close together. And here we can see little number. All these stones have all been documented. You can see over here, this whole group of stones. There's another fish trap. Very peaceful in here. Now around the inner part of the wall here, you find a lot of gravestones that have all been lined up. These are gravestones that were taken out by the Nazis because they thought they might be worth something someday. And because we don't know where these people were buried, um, they were lined up here. They were stored in another graveyard during the war and then brought back here, I think in the 1950s. This is a fine stag on this one. Look at a stag just leaping. And if you'd like to read these gravestones, if you've got Google Translate on your phone, just hold it up to this with the camera and it'll tell you what it says. Switch it from Hebrew to English or German or Spanish. This is called the Rabbi's Corner. So these stones were all put here. This was not a rabbi's corner before. Uh, and there's other people here that aren't rabbis, but this is what it's called. There's one other person here who's definitely not a rabbi, and that's Meyer Rothschild. You can say Rothschild, Rothschild, however you want to say it, R-O-T-S-C-H-I-L-D. He was born here in the Jewish ghetto in 1744. Let's go look at the stone. This is his stone. 
wealthiest man ever just about and here he is his wife is not here she's over at the rut bio cemetery you've seen my video about that so people do come here and pray it's lovely back in here very old stone Our most famous woman that's buried here at the cemetery. I will post her name in the description. She was the mother of a rabbi. You can see lots of people come and pray at her grave. You can also see that we're up on a hill looking down. We're quite high up. We're almost even with the top of the wall over here. But you have a nice view of the cemetery. This is not as big as uh, Heilig Sand Cemetery in Worms, but it is the second oldest preserved cemetery, Jewish cemetery in Germany. And I believe this is the oldest gravestone here, going back to 1272. Woman, we don't know her birth date because the birth dates aren't on any of these stones. We just know when she died. This is the gate to come into the cemetery with the key. And please lock the gate behind you. And here's the sign. If you want more information about the cemetery? This is the door to the Judengasse Museum where you can get the key to get into the cemetery. These are the hours. Um, you obviously cannot get into the cemetery on Mondays because the museum is closed and you also can't get in on Saturdays. All Jewish cemeteries are closed on Saturdays. If you are a man, you will need a hat to go into the cemetery. If you do not have a hat, they will be happy to give you a kippa to put on. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on our next video. And this is the back gate to get into the cemetery, but this is not where you come in with the key. It says house the living.